Hey there! Hello! And once again, welcome to Biopandit, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. This is sort of your very own Maha Pandit. Today, I'm going to talk about a fundamental aspect of structural biology, that is protein secondary structural elements. Allowed values of phi and psi angles is represented as the Ramachandran plot. The Ramachandran plot tells us about the conformations that a polypeptide chain can adapt. But it does not tell us whether these adapted conformations will be stable. Five major non-covalent interactions are responsible for maintaining the stability of a native structure. These interactions include disulfide bonds, salt bridges, hydrogen bonds, long distance electrostatic interactions and van der Waals interactions. Among these interactions, hydrogen bond interactions play a critical role to stabilize the globular structures of all known proteins. Let us now come to the point. Although proteins are linear polymers, most soluble proteins are globular and they have a tightly packed core consisting preliminary of hydrophobic amino acids. Segments of the folded chain in nearly all proteins adapt conformations in which the phi and psi torsion angles repeat in a regular pattern. These regular segments are called the elements of secondary structure of the protein. Three general types of secondary structural elements have been identified. Helices, beta sheets and beta turns. We differentiate among these three elements based on two factors. One, the characteristic phi psi dihedral angles of the respective amino acids and two, the characteristic hydrogen bonding pattern. Let us discuss about beta pleated sheets. Let me remind you that alpha helices involve intra element main chain hydrogen bonding. In contrast, the beta pleated sheet involves inter element hydrogen bonds between residues distant in the linear sequence. In beta sheets, two or more strands that may be widely separated in the protein sequence are arranged side by side with hydrogen bonds between the strands. If the beta strands run in the same direction, they are called parallel beta strands. If they run in opposite directions, they are called anti-parallel beta strands. Remember guys that both parallel and anti-parallel beta sheets are found in biological proteins. There are several examples of mixed beta sheets as well where both parallel and anti-parallel strands stay together. Generally, parallel beta sheets exhibit minus 119 degree phi and 113 degree psi angles, whereas anti-parallel beta sheets exhibit minus 139 degree phi and about 135 degree psi angle. Beta sheets have a rippled or pleated edge on appearance. In this conformation, successive side chains of a polypeptide chain extend to opposite sides of the pleated sheet with a two residue repeat distance of 7 angstrom. Beta sheets are common structural motifs in proteins. The polypeptide chains in a beta sheet are known to be up to 15 residues long with the average being 6 residues. The distance between two strands is 3.5 angstrom for anti-parallel strands and 3.3 angstrom for parallel strands. Anti-parallel sheets are more stable because their inter-sheet main chain hydrogen bonds are more linear in nature. Like alpha helices, beta strands can be amphiphilic as well. Since in beta sheets, side chains of two successive amino acids point in the opposite directions, a stretch of alternating hydrophobic and hydrophilic residues can generate an amphiphilic beta strand. Just as alpha helices, such strands are observed at protein surface, with hydrophobic phase covering the protein core and hydrophilic phase facing the bulk quarter. So, this is all for now guys. For further information on proteins and nucleic acids, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the red gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our videos, please hit the like button and help others by sharing it. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page.
Bye guys. See you soon.